there has long been a delicate balance in nature. Without knowing it, we have lived in harmony with bacteria. Most of them are harmless and even beneficial to us and play a crucial role in our world. These beneficial bacteria form an essential bond with us, helping us to digest our food, as well as to maintain our health by fighting off harmful bacteria such as pathogens. Yet we tend to associate all bacteria with disease and filth. The rapid increase in the world's population has been accompanied by a dramatic growth in consumption, leading to more food sources for bacteria. This means that bacteria are more likely to grow. When this happens with harmful bacteria, it results in excesses related to health, agricultural diseases, and overall hygiene. We have tried to solve these problems by killing the harmful bacteria using antibiotics, pesticides, and chemicals. But every time we use these measures, we kill almost all bacteria both the harmful and the beneficial ones. Only the strongest survive, and they have more space to grow due to the lower microbial diversity. New strains evolve that are more resistant to the higher chemical doses that we apply. As a result, strains have even evolved to a level that they are completely resistant, unaffected by even the highest dose and it becomes superabundant due to little competition from other bacteria. This has serious implications for our health and our environment. We are breaking our ancient pact with bacteria, with major unpredictable consequences. We need to understand that what bacteria require to grow is not affected by the use of antibiotics, pesticides and chemicals. It requires a new approach. We must restore our alliance with the bacteria and exploit their beneficial qualities. A group of bacteria with many beneficial qualities can be found all around us, members of the Bacillus family. Bacillus bacteria can be isolated and grown in large quantities and made into a form that makes it possible to reintroduce them into the environment where they can restore the microbial balance. Because of their diversity and strong characteristics, they are highly suitable for a wide range of applications. They can help to improve hygiene by degrading the bacterial food source, for example, thus limiting the need to use aggressive chemicals. In agriculture, they can help to improve the health and digestion of livestock. When beneficial bacteria populate the intestines, they can prevent harmful bacteria from binding, a process known as competitive exclusion. Thus, diseases can be forestalled and livestock grows more efficiently. They can help crops grow by making it easier for the roots to take up nutrients and by preventing diseases. This enables us to reduce the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides and to produce healthier food. Bacillus bacteria are powerful and can be used to sustainably combat a wide range of the world's problems. By fundamentally changing our view of bacteria, making use of their qualities instead of fighting them, we are able to restore the microbial balance. A balance that affects all life on Earth and is of profound importance for future generations. <laughs>